Today we're going to be setting up a bin for a Percelio Skaber Spanish Orange Isopod. Uh, this is my basic go-to bin setup formula that I use for almost every species that I keep except for Cubaris um, Isopods. We're going to be using some Magnolia Pods in the end, some Sphagnum Moss. Uh, the dirt that I'm using is a mix of reptisoil, some dried leaves, some sphagnum moss, and some hardwood pellets that have had water added to them and they've been decomposing for a while now. Um, there's big chunky pieces of leaf litter in there. I usually put about two-thirds of the bin full and with a depth of maybe two to three inches. Uh, this is a standard six quart Sterilite bin. Uh, this is just me scooping the dirt in. That's about two to three inches of dirt. The species for this bin, they don't usually hang out much under the ground. But Armadillidium species, Cubaris species, um, and Giant Canyons will do so. I'm going to add in some charcoal next to provide hiding spots for springtails. And I'm going to follow that up with some calcium powder without vitamin D. Just to give a little boost in the soil itself um, for the isopods to munch on. Uh, without having to add too much extra calcium supplements, you know, cuddle bones and things like that. Then I'm going to mix it all up to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the substrate. Right now it looks a little white, like, you know, somebody dumped flour in there. But once you wet the substrate and it sits for a day or so, it looks fine. If you want, you can add some extra substrate at this point uh, just for aesthetic purposes to make it look less clouded over. Um, I haven't found that the ice pods seem to mind. Next, I'm going to add a good handful or two of sphagnum moss over to one third of the bin. This is going to be my more moist side uh, where they can go and regulate themselves. It also helps with humidity. Next I'm going to add some leaf litter. I'm using sycamore leaf litter. You can use any hardwood leaf litter. I have also had success with fruit tree litter like mango leaves. Um, in particular, I know that my isopods seem to like. These are the isopods in question that are being rehomed. I would say there's about 50 to 100 in this colony currently, which for a six quart bin is fine. I've added a piece of cork bark I'm going to give everything a good spraying over with dechlorinated tap water. The first spray is usually the most generous. Uh, once a week, I will only add water to the hydration station where the moss is at. Uh, unceremoniously dumping isopods into their bin. They don't seem to mind though, they go off and explore all the little nooks and crannies and see if there's food to eat and see where they're going to set themselves up. I will also take this time to add in magnolia pods. They like to eat the fuzz off of it, the mold that grows on it. They will hang out in the little crevices. Uh, we like to call them ice pod hotels. Here's a close-up view of the Porcelio Scaber Spanish Orange. They are very active once their numbers get up 
um, I'd say once you have about 20 to 25 of them, you will regularly see them. They vary in orange shades from darker orange, mid orange to almost a white color. Uh, and that is how I set up this isopod bin. If you have any questions or concerns or see anything that you think I can maybe do better, please let me know. I would appreciate the feedback and thank you for watching.